Morning guys, it's uh, the weekend again, so it's time for a hydroponic update. Uh, we did a little bit of work on it. Yesterday we dumped all the water out and redid it. Added new water, new uh, nutrients. It had been in for about, yeah, about a month I guess. A little over a month, five weeks. It was a little bit scuzzy, so we, uh, we drained it all out. Redid that, cleaned it up, cleaned out the... Uh, the little strainer inside the inside this manifold there's a, a little screw on the top you can undo and there's just a simple uh, filter there so we've been uh, hacking away at all this stuff mustard greens are still probably doing the nicest they just continue to grow the arugula is looking really good the rapini's uh, looking rough but that's because we've been eating lots of it so I try and leave a few leaves on it and then it continues to grow. The lettuce is still doing all right. Um, the basil is looking pretty good. I have been trimming off some pieces that are kind of ugly looking. You know, like these ones. Throw them over in the grass. Tomatoes are good. I had to uh, kind of tie them up because they were starting to flop all over the place getting some flowers now so it shouldn't be too long till uh, we start seeing some tomatoes hot peppers are starting to do much better now they were uh, taking a long time to get going but they seem to have found their own now so that's good the uh, cucumber I just tied up so it'll take a little while for the leaves to get doing what they got to do but I built this little trellis it's just uh, I had a two by six that I ripped some one and a half inch strips out of drilled a couple holes and then I was I just put some uh, twine up that should work but yeah the peppers are looking good the asparagus is still growing retarded it grows like crazy And this or this rapini is looking good. We can probably uh, start cutting some of that back and eating it. It uh, really rebounded well after the chickens got into it. <clears throat> but that's about it on the hydro. The dirt garden's uh, coming right along. The uh, drunken beans are fighting with the uh, cucumbers. But uh, there's lots of flowers, so they seem to be holding their own. This mustard just, mustard greens grows like crazy. It's so nice looking too, with the curled leaf. <clears throat> A little bit of yellow. I just throw it out on the lawn there, and if something wants to eat it, go for it. But that's all just a quick uh, quick video nothing really exciting I just uh, like I said change the water out put up the little trellis so that I can get the cucumbers to grow up and uh, tie up the tomatoes because the one was really starting to flop down so hopefully hopefully now they'll uh, stay vertical for the most part and uh, yeah that's about it we're uh, gonna tinker around <clears throat> I may as well show you the dirt garden it's not very exciting but neither was the hydro potatoes are growing like crazy <clears throat> they always do well there's lots of weeds in there but <clears throat> still does well potatoes beans are all right <clears throat> there's a couple peas in there starting it's like I weed and then they never leave like look at them all hey who they're doing all right the radish need to come out I'll throw them into the compost they've uh, pretty much gone to seed we couldn't keep up there are carrots in there but they look rough here's the uh, dirt cucumbers you can see how crazy they are. 
but then there's the beans in here you know the beans are uh, holding their own there's potatoes everywhere I'm never planting potatoes in these beds again someone was saying oh you got to rotate them well now I get potatoes growing everywhere so I'm not rotating them again I find I just fight with potatoes more than anything so stuff's growing all right Oops, sorry about that chives are doing pretty good tomatoes are up out of the cages peppers are coming there's some flowers so that's cool get in there and do a little weeding just dump some chicken shavings in here some more peas over there planted some more peas so they're starting to come up like I said I got to get in there and do some weeding so spend a bit of time doing that I guess but beans are doing good another tomato they just come out out of out of nowhere Like I said, potatoes are doing well, and you can see there's a tomato there, there's a tomato in there. I have left a bigger, oh yeah, there it is right here. Look at the size of that thing. That's just, uh, I wouldn't call it a wild one, but it's, uh, it wasn't planted. It's doing pretty good. So, yeah, potatoes always do well here. Hopefully we get, uh, you know, a few 50 pounds. I'd like at least 50 pounds. 100 would be better. But I don't do anything with mine. I don't mound them up or nothing. I just plant them about 6 inches in the ground. They take uh, quite a while to start coming up. Look at the tomatoes right here too. One there. One right here. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't, uh, don't mound them. I just let them do what they got to do. And... Uh, they usually do well so that's the garden the hydro not much exciting <clears throat> been eating the greens ate a bunch of radishes gave a bunch of radish away but we don't eat that many radish so we don't normally get that many to grow that's why I did four rows so I think next year I'll do uh, one row I'd like to uh, maybe plant some plant some uh, berry bushes in in one of the planters um, you know split it in half maybe do some strawberries in half of it or blackberries or something like that but anywho we're uh, gonna go tinker around so that's the garden guys enjoy the video give it a thumbs up like it share it it's appreciated thanks guys